We've all seen the seafoam videos where you add seafoam into your intake, either directly into the intake or through like a vacuum line um, or something. And, you know, it shoots out the clouds of smoke. Um, but what I haven't seen is anyone add Marvel Mystery Oil into their intake manifold. Um, I guess it doesn't specifically say you can. But from what it seems, Marvel Mystery Oil and Seafoam are very similar in a lot of ways. So I'm going to go ahead and add some in, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, Marvel Mystery Oil here to the intake, just right through here. Um, very convenient on this Civic, and uh, we'll see what happens. Add a little bit there, let it suck it through. A little bit more. If I had two hands, I'd be giving it some revs to kind of uh, help keep it alive. But this will be good enough. There we go, maybe a little bit too much. Rev it up a bit. Oh yeah, got a bit of an exhaust leak down there. Woo. Nice. Add a little bit more. Marvel Mystery Oil does seem to be a little bit thicker than uh, Seafoam. I don't know if that'll affect anything or not. But uh, yeah, there we go, a little bit more down there. And what I'm hoping it's doing is as it goes into the intake manifold, I'm hoping it's um, knocking some of those carbon deposits loose and just sending it through the engine. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is a few minutes later. I've run a little bit more Marvel Mystery Oil through the the intake, um, and I've buttoned everything back up. Uh, just about. There we go. Um, and this is done in conjunction with um, the other video I posted uh, where I added some Marvel Mystery Oil to the oil and a little bit to the fuel tank. Uh, we'll see if it makes any difference, if it runs any smoother, if uh, the oil comes out looking pretty dark within 100 to 200 miles. We'll see if it's knocking loose all the, uh, the carbon deposits and crud in the engine. Uh, this engine to start off with was actually pretty clean. Uh, I swapped it in. It had about 155,000 miles when I did. Um, and I put about 14,000 miles on it so far. Uh, but when I got it, it was a very clean motor, very solid running engine, no problems with it. Um, so it probably didn't need it, to be honest, but uh, we can still test some of the claims for Marvel Mystery Oil and just see how it works. Uh, I'm pretty confident to say that I don't think it'll hurt the engine in any way uh, by adding it to the oil and to the fuel. Um, and I don't think adding any to the, uh, the intake hurt it in any way either. Uh, so I'm going to give it a few revs here just see if there's any more white smoke that shoots out. Yeah, just a little bit. So I'm just going to let it idle here. Uh, the garage door is like cracked open, but it's still pretty foggy. Uh, but the white smoke isn't really too offensive. It's not that strong smelling. So uh, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a believer in Marvel Mystery Oil so far. But uh, we'll see how this engine's running 150 to 200 miles down the road. Here's the level of smoke we're dealing with with this Marvel Mystery Oil. Uh, I'm in second gear right now. I'm going to do a bit of a pull. <laughs> so 
So, uh, yeah, you can see it is pretty smoky. But uh, hey, I mean, Seafoam does the same thing. I'd expect nothing less from adding Marvel, Marvel Mystery Oil or uh, even water for that matter into your intake. Um, so yeah, the uh, this is about five or ten minutes or so after letting it idle with all that uh, that mystery oil in it. Uh, I'll pull a U-turn here. And first gear, second gear. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure people behind me are wondering what is going on. But yeah, everyone loves seeing the smoke when uh, when they see foam their car, right? Well, anyways, if you like this video, um, go ahead and give it a like. Um, subscribe if you like. I don't have a set schedule on when I release videos, but uh, I do so every now and then whenever an idea pops into my head. Thanks for watching.